Staying ahead of the curve is as much of a challenge for individual farmers as it is for those who supply them. As innovations can come from anywhere in the world, it requires constant research and development in order to quickly bring new technologies to the British marketplace. Farmers have always been custodians of the countryside, which is something that perhaps hasn't necessarily been appreciated. I'm long enough in the tooth to remember days when, for example, metal pesticide containers would routinely be thrown into the back of a hedge, even into a, a, a ditch, a stream, a pond. We are now very much more aware of the dangers that such practices created and caused, and therefore legislation has been brought in which has helped to remove that along with the cooperation of the farming community. Typically this would have been the voluntary initiative and originally in 1998 uh, a scheme which was introduced called Local Environmental Risk Assessments for Pesticides or LERAPS for short, whereby farmers were allowed to reduce the size of a buffer zone adjacent to a water course or standing water uh, according to the chemical they were using and particularly the type of spray equipment, the spray nozzle specifically, which would have drift reducing capabilities. When designing products to reduce environmental impact, uh, one's got to go back to um, something called feed conversion efficiency. So if you feed an animal one kilo of uh, feed material, all right, one might be looking at um, growth rate or feed conversion, but also we've all, also got to be aware of um, the byproduct, that feed that which is not converted into useful food material at the end of the day. So if a kilo of feed is fed to an animal, it uh, grows faster, produces more milk, but you've also got uh, a faecal waste coming out the back end. So when designing feeds, one is trying to m maximise output from a food point of view, but minimise output from an environmental waste point of view. We've been very successful designing a, a specialist uh, protein called Menomax uh, Pro, which will uh, increase milk protein yield, but reduce uh, nitrogen output, so having less of an impact on the environment. As a business, uh, we're very aware of um, our carbon footprint. So our parent company, CMI Cosmetic Industries, uh, have a working group to ensure that we look at every stage of production from raw material purchase through manufacturing to delivery and uh, we have a carbon footprint audit to ensure where the weaknesses are on the chain. If we invest in any new capital equipment we're looking at uh, the most efficient way of uh, operating that machine to reduce um, uh, fuel, fuel use. Obviously from a, a feeding perspective we're looking at uh, improving feed conversion so that's from a feed design point of view but also we use um, software, something called Paragon, that uh, reduces our carbon footprint by ensuring our lorries are most efficiently used. We're delivering feed for you know, many hundreds of miles all over a different uh, geography. Every day we're delivering to hundreds of farmers. And it's really important that fleet is used really efficiently because diesel is so expensive, both from a cost point of view but also from a carbon footprint point of view. The most significant user of power in a dairy uh, is milk cooling. This is an area in which we've had a, a big focus on reducing power usage and in fact by comparison in the last few years we've actually halved the cost of milk cooling. We have a climatic evaluation facility which allows us to, to optimise performance right across different climatic conditions and different temperature environments but we've also applied a lot of principles that are used in the construction industry such as with passive housing, uh, with thermal design with computational fluid dynamics all to the area of milk cooling and this means better efficiency and lower energy. There has been a lot of developments in the dairy industry in the last few years, uh, particularly here in Dairy Master. Uh, we are continually looking at new, new products, new projects. We have a big R&D team here in terms of reducing labour, increasing productivity, increasing profitability. This is what all these areas are actually focusing on. The largest improvement in feeding technology has been around precision nutrition and about optimising feeding for each individual cow. For example, in the dry period, just prior to the cow calving, we have a product called the Smart Feeder, which can put a cow on the choice of 400 different feed menus. And this is the most critical time of the year for the cow, just prior to calving, as this is, this is the most difficult job the cow has to do during her, her entire uh, lifetime. 
As one of the most advanced farming sectors in the world, British farmers already have a significant lead in many areas, which promises a bright future for those who continue to embrace innovation. Our business aims to be a provider of solutions to our customers' challenges, not merely a supplier of products. We have a very effective field sales team who are very close to their customers and have established long-term relationships. Combined with our flat structure, we are therefore able to be very responsive to our customers' needs. Along with many other businesses, we operate KPIs looking at um, delivery, timescales, uh, stockouts, uh, complaints, etc. And we monitor the business, ensuring our customers receive satisfaction utilising those KPIs. We ensure that we're at the forefront of change and industry development in a number of ways. We have a competitive advantage there in that our international links bring new ideas and, 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 our, and thoughts to the forefront there. We are members of trade associations and research bodies and we have senior personnel sitting on the committees of those, of those bodies. As consequently, we keep abreast of the technological change that's within the industry. Thinking specifically about crop sprayers, crop sprayer technology, the improvements that have been made, I think, have really moved them up several steps. Introduction of computerised controllers uh, for crop sprayers, so most sprayers would now have a rate controller, a governor, which will determine exactly that the farmer is applying the correct volume, not over spraying, not under spraying. That's pretty standard practice and I think has been a huge step forward there. Dairy Master are always improving their own people skills first of all because uh, as technology is moving on you have to have people that will be able to serve this technology, look after this technology on farm. So there's a constant demand in greater emphasis on people with the know-how in terms of software, in terms of electronics, people with um, testing skills, people with uh, communication skills and uh, I suppose as the company has employed a lot of people in, in the development in R&D and software plus we have people in the development of apps and that's where I suppose a lot of the developments are going on farm that people want and need that so you have to train your people to be able to do that and that goes right down the line to your dealer that's the guy on the farm that has to have the know-how, the technology and the awareness of what's going on in the farm with the technology that's been used on the farm. I believe there should be a lot more uh, investment in, into research and uh, de development. Uh, th I don't believe our government has a great deal of awareness of the importance of agriculture. Agriculture accounts for 60% of our food production and the world population is growing at a tremendous rate. Uh, is 60% sufficient in, in, a, in, a, in a world where food will become progressively more and more expensive? I think ideas for new products come from our collective knowledge, whether it has come from within the agricultural industry or from without, and asking what people want, what they need, what advances they would like to see, to see if we as a small group can come up with some ideas which might fulfil those requirements. We can look at existing products and think of ways that we could perhaps make them simpler, uh, more effective, more efficient, less expensive. We have a sort of a collective empathy here to try and find these, the answers to these types of, of questions. Advanced management technology means that you can treat each cow as an individual. You can optimise nutrition, you can uh, optimise fertility, you can look at the performance of each animal. Uh, moving on from there, you can look at uh, energy, efficiency, milk cooling. The next area you can look at is labour, actually sorting animals, picking animals out. Remote management and uh, connectivity is is something that has been really incorporated within our product range so for example we've a lot of mobile apps developed so in terms of the moo monitor for health and fertility monitoring uh, that's available on the mobile app in terms of milk cooling uh, also we have uh, connectivity to your mobile phone around this product and it means that you really know what's happening on your farm even if you're off farm uh, we also have a feature called appetizer feeding which encourages oxytocin release and this is the hormone responsible for milk letdown, uh, which speeds up milking.
While there are significant challenges facing farms in the UK, agriculture is still a major part of our economy and will continue to be for many years to come. British farming has a very bright future. We are technologically very advanced already in this country and future developments will, I am sure, be led by technological improvements. With increasing costs, let us say particularly of fertiliser, and we've already referred to variable rate using GPS mapping, this will become more common and is, will become one of the very important factors of only applying exactly the amount of fertiliser that that particular part of the crop, that particular part of the field requires. Our vision to the future is, is, is to be the best in the world at what we do. In terms of farming, uh, we believe that, there, that farming is going to be one of the key issues going forward for uh, for the world really. Recently I was uh, speaking with Kofi Annan at the, at the World Entrepreneur of the Year programme and uh, his view was that food supply for, for the world is actually going to be the single biggest challenge in the next 50 years. So in terms of farming uh, we think this, this will become a very important area. The last year for Dairy Master has been uh, very positive. Uh, we have uh, won the Ernest & Young Entrepreneur of the Year uh, which is the, the top business award in the country. Then uh, later on we had to actually compete in the, the World Entrepreneur of the Year which is like the, the Oscars of the business world globally. In fact we were the only company in the whole agricultural sector that was at that level out of, out of 49 countries globally. I have significant confidence in the farming sector's future over the forthcoming few years. As a consequence of population increases and the requirement for better quality food produced in environmentally sustainable situations with good animal welfare bodes well for the UK agriculture. I'm very confident it will rise to those challenges. Cars Billington's vision for the future is to further develop dairy nutrition. We are clearly disadvantaged compared to our colleagues in America who are producing um, better results in terms of yield, growth, etc. We recognise the deficiencies and believe that we have a number of items that we can, we can challenge there relating to forage analysis, nutritional management down to amino acid level and some significant innovations we believe we can introduce into our business to be able to push on the differentiation from our competition. Furthermore, we would wish to extend our geographical base. We have a model that works well and we would wish to push that forward through acquisition and organic growth. We also intend to extend our offering both in terms of products and the number of stores that we offer to try to engender the rural dweller to become more of a customer of ours as well as the professional farmer.